Ooh, the wow. Ball. I thought they might call a loose ball foul, but they do call the dual possession there. I actually agree. I thought it was a good job of coming over. You worry. I thought maybe at first. But uh, I'll give this to, Pat, to both Mangala and Padmore. Sometimes in the boys' game, you get a little more stare down, some chirping. Yeah. Not a bit. Kind of separate and then move on. Now, fourth quarter. <laughs> we'll see. Working on the shot clock, I believe, here. Yeah. Yeah, shot clock should have moved because it was on the rebound after it hit the rim. Got that ball quickly inside, and the roar gets that one over the top of Padmore. So back to a five-point advantage for the Bulldogs. Otley cut off on the baseline, comes back out. This is Pesci. Padmore obviously will have the range there. Oh, fake the little handoff, call a travel first. I thought it was a good little ball fake on that handoff. But Ethan Carlson hit with the traveling violation first. Yeah, I missed that travel. It's on the other end of the floor, so, you know, I don't have the same view. But I thought it was a great move to post as too. well through the traffic. But won't count. You know, the fun thing about this vantage point, this rim, I don't know the last time it was replaced. We had some chip, chip uh, paint on top of the, on the buckle here. And, oh, that's going to be back court. Coach Colgrat saying, hey, that was Chip. Mr. Official said, nay, nay, went off the leg. So the ball will go back to the Bears with 146 left in the quarter. I'll tell you, Coach Colgrat had a question about that call, but he seemed content with the explanation. Official tonight, understanding how to manage these benches. They've done a nice job of incorporating, communicating, haven't shut anyone out, which is always a good thing. Oh, wow, they count the bucket. I thought maybe this could get called on the floor, but they're going to say it was Otley was in his habitual shooting motion. Count the bucket, and he will go to the line for the three-point play. Yeah, I, I thought it was on the shot, so I thought that was a good call. Otley has started to find his rhythm. Seven early points here for Bryson. Again, a young man that averages 18, and a chance here to get to eight just in this first quarter, just over 90 seconds left. Fourteen to twelve after the three-point play. Mangala send that ball outside. Three on the way off the front of the iron and the rebound. And on the run now is Stuart Woodward. Boy, they do a great job of getting the defense to switch. And a late closeout there left an open look. And some are probably fortunate that one who wasn't made. Twenty seconds on the shot clock. Woodward, get that up to Padmore. Sherlock goes at Mangala, fall away, and got it. And Tied up at 14. And how about the maturity to not commit that charge? You can see Judge setting up. They were trying to draw it. Spins away from it, finds himself at six and another bucket. Boltax sends that ball in the corner. Dang along the baseline. That ball taken away. Chance for the Bears to take the lead. Shot clock did not reset. So the officials are going to stop this. The shot clock didn't reset. They're going to put it back to 30 seconds. This is well, a 14 to 6 run right now by some of the academy. Yeah, but impressive to see the comeback. They said put the shot or put the game clock. I didn't know if there was a bigger disparity there, but as it is, they'll say 29 seconds left. Shot clock is turned off. And a chance for Summit Academy when this quarter started. Coach Condi was an 8-0 start. He took that timeout and his boys have responded. Yes, they have. Woodward sitting that ball up top. Got it back outside. Stewart off the screen. Hands back to Otley. Down to 10. Otley. Best on best. Screen. Leaves that one for his old man as Sherlock Padmore finds that one too. At the horn of line. It was online. Oh, it, it was, was short. online, but short. <laughs> hey, how about that first quarter? The Bears go on a 16 to 6 run to close out the first quarter. You're watching the KSL Sports Rewind Game of the Week on KSLSports.com. And welcome back in. Start of the second quarter. Dusty Litster, Dane Stewart, Vince Francis, and Tate Francis with you. 
come to you from Yurkovich Arena, as I've now dubbed it. Hasn't been officially named that, but I'm calling it. It's sad to think that this building is no longer going to exist here in the yeah. next uh, few yeah. years. It's that ball, actually a foul will be called here on Jackson Bulltex. All I know is if they rebuild, the, if they build the new school correctly, the architect's job is already done. It's like, just build what you have right, right. now and call it good. It just sucks that they can't pick it up and move it. Yeah, it was interesting because Coach Colerat before said, I just want this with air conditioning. Like, just right. give me this with air conditioning and we're good. Of course, Judge Memorial will be moving down to 21st South around St. Anne's. Where well, St. Anne's uh, church is right now. Yeah. That's where Judge will be relocated to. Yeah, 500 East sad. area. And yeah, 500 East and 21st South. Yeah. I played baseball games against Judge there. It's going to be closer to the old South High School than the current location. Yeah, pretty close. Now Salt Lake Community College, Salt Lake campus. Is that ball I've driven along the baseline in a turnover? Matter of fact, at the baseball field at St. Anne's, I had one of my favorite plays ever. I'm playing there in the rain against Judge. I thought baseball didn't play in the rain. You got to protect the dirt, like that, Dusty. Right? So they hit a line drive in the middle, caught a backhand, and when we went to throw it around the horn, Dusty went behind the back, a little Robbie Alomar action, and completed it. <laughs> My favorite plays ever. Oh, that's awesome. So that shot doesn't go across with the board. In fact, a fun fact of this one, last time I broadcasted a game from Judge Memorial, it was a home football game for Summit Academy. When Southern Academy started playing football, they didn't have a field, and they rented oh, wow. Judge Memorial High School. Wow. It was Summit Academy versus the Duchesne Eagles. Step back three for Otley, his second triple of the half. Yeah, he's up to 11 right now. He and Padmore are the only Bears to score here in this first half. Bull tags in that ball in the quarter. Mangala back up top to Bull tags. On the drive, float it. No, too strong. Padmore with the rebound. And Sosedo has not scored for Judge since that opening bucket. Hasn't had a clean look since then. Right. We talked about the defense from Coach Condi. Holding teams under 40 points per game. And the, I mean, doing this in the shot clock era of all places. As Padmore works it down low. Plus one for Sherlock Padmore. 